Oh my god, fish on my teeth. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Iron Curls and Curling Irons, uh, aka Nadia, if you don't know who I am. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And today I'm three days out from the Arnold Amateurs. This is like a dream come true, guys. Um, if you follow me, you know that I'm obsessed and been obsessed with doing this show. And the fact that I will be on the Arnold stage in three days is like mind blowing. <laughs> My workouts have been really emotional for me because being so close to the stage, it's really a time to reflect and a time to acknowledge how far I have come. And a time to realize that I'm able to do things that I never thought was even possible. So if you have a goal that you think is unrealistic, better believe it, it is realistic. You can and you will, my friends. So back to today, I get ahead of myself. Um, right now I'm meal prepping quickly before I go to work. Um, this is my last day of work and then tomorrow I head down to Ohio. So I'm making some fish and some zucchini as you can see in the background. I made my chicken last night in the crock pot. As you can see the dirty crock pot there. And I just kept it in my fridge until I can portion it. So we're getting close to the stage and I can't believe it's happening. When I go to Ohio, I will be staying in an Airbnb. So it's like an apartment. And I chose to stay there opposed to the hotel because I can cook my food there. Um, it's half the price and I'm cheap. So it's actually really cute. I'll show you guys when I get there. But um, the main reason was the kitchen. Uh, it's the same distance from the host hotel, so that's good. And we are driving to Ohio, so I will have my vehicle. Um, so yeah, all is well, and I will show you my meal prep. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. What if I go stronger? because I cannot stand when they get squished. It's like my biggest pet peeve ever. I cannot stand when they are squished. So yes, I stand them all up, I take my time, blah, blah, blah. So be it. checked into our Airbnb and I am drinking my third one of these for the day. Um, so today I'm drinking eight liters of water and I feel like a water buffalo but I know in like two days from now when I am water depleted I will be begging for this moment. So we just got to Kroger and get to check out all the state's food which is like a hundred times better than Canadian food and my mom's with me and she's a big foodie too so like it makes grocery shopping 10 times better because we both get to loathe over all the amazing food. So we're at Kroger drinking, finishing up my water for the day and tomorrow I am one day out so let me take you on my food haul and we'll go from there.
morning YouTube. So today I am one day out. I am in Columbus, Ohio. We checked into the Airbnb yesterday, 10.30 on March 1st. So happy beginning of the month. I step on stage tomorrow and checked in with coach this morning. So I'm drinking seven liters of water today. Carbs only went up by five grams. So they're still pretty low. Um, I don't really know what he has planned. He doesn't really he doesn't like to predict what's going to happen. He just takes it check-in by check-in um, and adjusts things as necessary. But we don't necessarily do the typical carb load or water cutting or depletion workouts. Like My training has been the same up until this point. The only restriction was last leg day was yesterday, which makes sense because we want to decrease the inflammation. No water cutting yet. Um, we did water loading the last three days of eight liters of water. Uh, today, seven liters, which kind of has me worried because like my show is tomorrow and I would kind of like to cut water. Usually we taper water down. We don't ever cut it completely, but just doing what he says. So carbs are still pretty low today, but higher than normal. I also cut out my vegetables today and I will be cutting out my avocado um, just because their vegetables and avocado are high in fiber, which may cause some bloating and it definitely does cause bloating. Also, I eat so much vegetables that I naturally protrude because of the vegetables and I just look thicker. Like, think about it, your insides are full, right, of food and I eat a lot of veg. So by cutting that out, um, I just have a flatter stomach because my stomach isn't necessarily like I don't necessarily have fat it's just the constant protrusion from full intestines basically so that'll be better by tomorrow um, I'm not worried about that and uh, it's actually like night and day difference it's pretty cool to see I actually have a lot of shit to do today but I've been procrastinating and just taking my time this GPS is bullshit and literally took me like 45 minutes to figure out, so that was a pain in my ass. But I'm going to the powerhouse gym now. I'm just gonna do some upper body. I don't wanna go to failure. Um, I don't wanna bust my balls today because I don't want that inflammation <clears throat> and I don't wanna deplete myself too much. I wanna keep my fullness. So today's more just to get the blood flowing to the muscles, get the nutrients into the muscles, more mental sanity than anything. So today I have to go to the gym, go back to the Airbnb, I have to shave my entire body, then I have to get my nails done, then I have to go to registration, then I have to shower, do my hair, then I have to go for my tan, and after my tan I want to do some trial makeup runs because I like to make sure I know what I'm doing instead of just like, because I haven't done it like in a few months since my last show, so I like to like be refreshed on how I'm gonna do it. I'm just like, I'm just anal like that. So lots of shit to do, not enough time in the day, and I'm procrastinating right now, so let's go. Hey guys, so I finished the gym, and I went to get my nails done, and it took so long, like, it was a guy that did it first of all, but like, he literally massaged me for 20 minutes, so I'm not complaining. But I'm so hungry right now, and especially that I haven't had any veg today, which like usually keeps me full. I literally feel like I'm famished. Like, it, I feel nauseous because I am so hungry. But anyways, look what I left wearing because I was just so hungry. Like, I forgot to take everything off. So I literally left wearing the little slippers they give you and the toe things. I can't. So at least I got that done. I got my nails done, so I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna shave, shower, and then I'm gonna go to registration. So there's that. 